our working hypothesis uh, was uh, that for senescence is problem, and this problem involves mitochondria produced ROS, it's reactive oxygen species, as an essential intermediate. And the strategy was uh, to prevent the increase of the level of ROS with age, uh, hoping that this may prevent operation and realization of senescence problem. Uh, as a method, we used uh, our old observation made together with Dr. Lieberman and published in Nature 1969 uh, concerning so-called, we call that uh, penetrating ions. It's a typical penetrating ion. Uh, phosphorus plus, but this plus is delocalized over this aromatic uh, phenol rings. This results uh, in situation when local uh, charge in each uh, point of this molecule is too small to attract dipoles of water. So this very strange ion which is not surrounded uh, by water shell. And because of this, uh, this, is, uh, this compound can easy, uh, easily uh, traverse any membrane, artificial uh, model uh, or natural. Nine, uh, approximately nine uh, years ago, uh, here in Cambridge, Michael Murphy, an institute of John Walker, uh, succeeded uh, in using uh, our approach, uh, which uh, consists in the following. The only compartment inside the cell which is, ne which is negatively charged is mitochondrial interior. This means uh, that uh, our cations uh, should be specifically addressed uh, only to mitochondrial uh, matrix. And the consequence is that if we uh, combine this strange ion with something else, uh, this uh, uh, additional moiety it should be also concentrated in mitochondrial matrix or inner mitochondrial membrane. The following compound was constructed by Michael. Uh, this is our iron uh, linker uh, and antioxidant. In this case, uh, it was ubiquinone, uh, and this compound was coined MitoQ. It was shown that MitoQ really is accumulated inside mitochondria approximately in agreement with the nervous equation uh, because the mitochondria potential difference across the membrane is about 180 millivolt and each 60 millivolt means accumulation uh, of a compound, of cationic compound by one order of magnitude. This should result in accumulation of this compound in, inside mitochondria by factor 1000. It was also confirmed uh, that uh, uh, MitoQ really uh, can abolish uh, damages induced by oxidative stress in mitochondria and in living cells. The only problem with uh, this kind of compounds is that quinones, uh, quinones are not only anti but also pro-oxidants because they can be converted uh, to semiquinone uh, which uh, can uh, directly and non-enzymatically reduce uh, oxygen to superoxide. And the success uh, of treatment of uh, any disease, for example, by such kind of uh, compounds depends upon the window between uh, anti- and pro-oxidant uh, effects of uh, such kind of uh, uh, substances. So. It was unfortunately found that uh, in MitoQ this window is not very large. And this is why we decided uh, to scan a large amount of compounds trying to find uh, something better. Uh, and uh, the project was, uh, uh, investment project was uh, organized first. Uh, the people from Belozersky Institute in Moscow was uh, very involved, but later many other uh, groups uh, joined us and now 
more than 20 different institutes are in, in, in Russia, in Ukraine, uh, in Sweden, and the United States uh, are already involved in this we call the mega project. <coughs> this compounds, uh, only some compounds synthesize in our group, and uh, the screening of these compounds resulted in understanding that the first two, which are in red, uh, are the best. Uh, you see here that instead of uh, ubiquinone, we have plastoquinone, <coughs> the same here, plastoquinone. What is plastoquinone? Plastoquinone is an analog of ubiquinone, which is used by chloroplasts in uh, plants or in, uh, uh, also in uh, cyanobacteria. In both of these cases, uh, it is localized uh, in the membrane uh, which produces oxygen due to photosynthesis. Mitochondria consume oxygen, but chloroplasts and cyanobacteria produce oxygen. And this is why the oxygen problem is much stronger uh, for chloroplasts or, or cyanobacteria. And the suggestion was that the reason why uh, um, these uh, membranes, chloroplast membranes, cyanobacterial membranes, uh, use uh, Plastoquinone instead of ubiquinone is just because of better antioxidant uh, properties of plastoc in comparison with ubiquinone. One more interesting compound is this one. Uh, this is something uh, without antioxidant. Uh, and normally we use this as a control compound, uh, but in the end of my talk I would like to show you some data that uh, it is not always uh, uh, control, but some ad additional, very interesting reactivity was discovered quite uh, recently. Uh, this is the data by Ina Severina, who is uh, uh, in this audience, uh, and uh, the system was a uh, bilayer artificial phospholipid membrane, which separates two compartments, uh, uh, which different concentration uh, of uh, the ion. Uh, which we uh, tried. For example, uh, here in both compartments, uh, the concentration of uh, SKQR1, for example, was one micromolar, but here it is uh, in one compartment one micromolar and another compartment uh, 10 micromolar. And according to the nervous equation, uh, 10 uh, fold uh, gradient. Uh, in concentration of penetrating fire should result in generation of potential of about 60 millivolts. And this is uh, this line is in the theoretical nurse equation. You see that in the case of SKQR1, which is the best penetrant among others, uh, we have almost a uh, theoretical uh, curve. So it means that these compounds are really penetrating cations. The second question was, uh, is it possible to reduce uh, oxidized uh, plastoquinone derivative with this uh, penetrating cation by respiratory chain? The great advantage of MITQ is that it's, uh, it is a uh, rechargeable antioxidant. When uh, uh, it is oxidized by ROS, it is immediately generated in a reduced form uh, by respiratory chain. And it was shown that in the case of, my, of uh, uh, plastoquinone derivatives, the situation is the same. But this is the rate of uh, uh, oxidation, uh, of reduction, uh, of uh, rate of reduction of uh, uh, SKQ1 added to isolated mitochondria. At this point, uh, mitochondrial was added uh, to uh, uh, stop. Uh, 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 reduction uh, and I'm sorry, uh, in this case it was uh, uh, malonate. Malonate was added uh, to stop reduction because of inhibition of succinate dehydrogenase uh, and you see some uh, rate of oxidation. You see that oxidation rate is lower than the reduction rate. This means that mainly uh, this compound should be in reduced form in a normally uh, respiring mitochondria. This means that uh, just active uh, reduced form, which is really antioxidant, uh, is dominating. The most uh, important uh, finding was, I'm sorry for this complicated slide, 
uh, when we compared uh, end to end 